everybody, and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host, Katie. We are now on our second episode of Bloodborne The Old Hunters DLC. Uh, last episode, we picked up this brand new outfit, which I am modeling for you now, already complete with blood spatters. Uh, we picked up uh, the boom hammer as a new weapon, and we killed a bunch of hunters. So this episode, I want to finish up uh, the hunter's nightmare area, and we should encounter our first boss, who I am very very nervous about because I've heard some serious horror stories. Anyway, <laughs> grab a tasty beverage and let's get started. Other than changing my outfit off camera, I just uh, re-killed. Oh, ha! One of my notes is rated fine. Thank you! I am clearly playing online. Uh, but I cleared out some of these enemies again and what we are going to do is run past all of these uh, blood lickers because I already got the pants off of them. We're going to go in here. There's a couple different sections uh, of underground cavern works that I need to explore. I don't see any meanies. Gross. Oh, I see some crows in there. I was tempted to uh, level up the, the boom hammer. Uh, because just watching the other hunters use it, it looks so freaking cool. Uh, but I want to make sure I have enough shards for... Yeah, I knew you were going to come. There's They always move in packs. I wanted to make sure I had enough shards to level up the Whirligig Saw when I find that, because that is a strength-based weapon, which is the type of character I'm running. And it looks like a giant pizza cutter, so I was really... What is wrong with your model? He is, uh, he's stuck. The doggy is stuck. Come here, you little Resident Evil Doberman dog. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna have to turn up my sound because it's really necessary to hear these enemies coming. And this game is pretty soft. Sound is your biggest clue in Bloodborne as to where an enemy is or what's lurking around the corner because you'll hear hunters muttering to themselves, like insane ramblings, uh, you'll hear the dogs panting and growling. Ooh, I see an item. Also, a little nifty trick is uh, using your lock-on button, so pressing R3 uh, when you enter like a new space. Frenzy Cold Blood helps uh, it'll automatically target an enemy if it's close enough to you and so that's a really good trick for spotting the crows because they're very they're well hidden and well camouflaged but this allows me to uh see there's a crow right there and a crow there yeah oh my god these things are moving that's disgusting. Oh god, look at the- Oh shit! Great. My favorite. There's a whip sword, dude. Come away from the crows, buddy. Oh man, I wish I could run this- run up here. Uh, but yeah, the R3- R3 trick. I am really rusty. Uh, I was playing Dark Souls Remastered yesterday. God, he's hard to stagger. I was playing Dark Souls Remastered, and the controls for that are totally different. Uh, you have a shield, it's it's based upon blocking, the move set is a lot slower, and... Really? Right there, I didn't even m mean to go into my trick form of the weapon, I just did. Because that's what you use for a shield in Bloodborne. Er, Dark Souls. So it's a little, uh... Oh god, these 
guys are creepy. It's a little jarring to go from. Beware of ambush, yeah, a little late. Yeah, jarring to go from Dark Souls to this. I'm only a few bosses into Dark Souls Remastered, but I'm finding it so much easier than Bloodborne. It's kind of funny. More ambushes? Oh! Well, thank you. You were right. All right. So the so there was really nobody in here. Don't you dare look at me but despicable tight spot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and thumbs up this note. There was definitely a dog there, not a lie. But all this creepy moaning. You should really listen to this LP with your headphones on because all of these flayed bodies that are still alive are making terrifying groaning noises. Which I don't want you to miss out on, because if I have to experience them, I want you to, too. There's an item up there. You can hear my cat bitching. Oh, I believe that is actually the location of the Whirly Gig Saw, so I'll go around and get that. I am so excited to try it out. I really hope I like the moveset. It looks a little weird. But I've seen people actually just obliterate the f this first DLC boss with it. What, Tsuki? Oh, I know. Every time I see these hills, I just expect to see dogs running down it. Just every time. Take a step forward. I don't see an item on that beam. Oh, but I, there's an item over there. I see. Okay. This is an interesting contraption. Treasure waits ahead, but someone died here? We shall see. Let's go this one first, because I definitely see that item. Alright, let's see if I can line it up correctly. This is always a little nerve-wracking. Uh, so my favorite location in the game is probably Old Yarnum, And there's actually a cathedral in there. <laughs> that has a massive ceiling and roof with a bunch of beams that you have to drop from. And it's a little nerve-wracking. Okay, did it. Oh, made it. Alright, let's check out this item. Oh, the constable's garb. Sweet. Yeah, why not? Give you an upvote. An updute, as they say. So let's check out this uh, constable's garb. We saw the, we have the constable's gloves, but we do not have the garb yet. So this is a... Uh, oh god, what is it? Valter's outfit. Once upon a time, a troop of foreign constables chased a beast all the way to Yarnum. Yep, I already... Yeah, I read that. It's the same description, but pretty nifty looking outfit, and I'm looking forward to putting that on at some point. So that's the way I came all the way around. So let's try. <laughs> Oop. I move so much faster in Bloodborne than you do in Dark Souls. Especially because there's no equipment load, and there is in Dark Souls. So Bloodborne, it doesn't matter what you wear or... Uh, what items you're carrying, you... Oh, that is treasure. Okay. Do you see... Oh, that's my shadow. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, there is no equipment load in Bloodborne, which is quite nice. I appreciate that. I don't... I'm not a fan of that. Feels a little dated. Oh! Ruah! Shit! Yeah, this is the safe. Oh god, got greedy. Ooh. 
Really? Oh, come on. God, that does so much freaking damage! Oh god, I'm gonna die. Get back, Katie. Oh my god, did I really die? Oh, you're bloody kill- He's got- he's a red-eye hunter too, which means he's even stronger. That's such bullshit! That's a death- oh god, I'm so freaking rusty. Okay. Alright. Death count? Three. Alrighty, I'm back. I killed this hunter. He was using the hunter's bone, which is a a hunter's tool. It's basically a magic attack that makes your dodge dodges and moves really quick. Alright, so that. He was guarding the beast hunter safe, which was what he was using, which does so much freaking crazy damage. But I got him and I also got a vermin, which is an item needed for a side quest. Uh, Valter's side quest, actually. The man who wears the constable guard. I'm not sure where it would be. Uh, but you need to collect vermin, essentially, for him. And he will give you prizes. Alright. Vermin. The root of man's impurity. A centipede-like creature discovered on successful hunts by League hunters. Vermin, found hidden within filth, are only seen by League confederates and are the root of man's impurity. The League has assumed the task of finding and crushing all vermin. Perhaps there is some mercy in the madness. Those who wish to see vermin can, and those who choose to, are provided with boundless purpose. So I, if I turn that into him, I should learn a gesture or I should get his helmet, uh, which is essentially a bucket with one eye hole. <laughs> but let's check out this beast hunter safe. Cause damn, this thing is beastly. So it only scales E with strength. Uh, it scales D with skill. But it is a trick weapon used by the old hunters. A second blade is found inside the curve of the main one. In its initial form, the safe can be wield wielded like a long curved sword. But when transformed, its blade is contracted, allowing for quick repeated stabs. Although this trick weapon allows for adaptive combat, it was later replaced by saws and similar weapons that were more effective at disposing of beasts. So I kind of want to just equip that and see. It's a little unwieldy of a moveset, but interesting. Uh, it would take me quite a bit of practice to get used to that, but I like having the saw cleaver for beasts because the serrated edge helps. As you can see, I used a lot of blood files killing that guy, and I can't find my blood echoes. Uh, he was not holding them. And that's that little hunter and his pet. So, he was not holding my blood echoes, so maybe... They've got to be somewhere around here. Let's climb back up here and see. Yeah, he was super hard. <laughs> that, I, I still haven't learned the safe's moveset. He's, he wield, well, there was a reason he was wielding it so incredibly quickly, but... Yeah, didn't find my blood echoes. Kind of strange. Unless I really didn't have many and he was holding them, but his eyes weren't purple. Which s signals that an enemy picked up your blood echoes. That's one thing I do really like in Dark Souls Remastered, uh, is that monsters don't pick up your souls if you die. They just stay there. So you don't have to go kill an enemy that went a sniffing around your souls in order to get them back. Well, I don't see them. I... oh well. It's not like I had many anyway, but still. Alright, let's go up here. I have a feeling there might... Oh god, church bells. I don't like that sound. Yep, that means that Cthulhu beast. That hunter kind of shook my confidence. I see him, I see him, I see him. Yeah, Katie doesn't want to tangle with this guy.
I wonder if I can sneak past him. Oh shit, he's got a cannon. What the hell? Oh god, cannons are not cool. I mean, cannons are pretty cool, but not when they're aimed at me. Really? All that for a madman's knowledge. RUN! Oh good, I needed those. What the hell? Bad witch! Oh, oh, I wasn't... Oops. Oh, well, that's handy. I wasn't sure if I could actually kill him. Surprise, you can. Alright. Um, it's a fun little ambush when you're running away. Oh shit, hello. Stupid crows. Beast blood pellet. Moany gronies. I hear a different noise. I know there is a badass hunter somewhere in the caverns. And I... <laughs> a little nervous. So that is Mr. Cthulhu dude. I want to make sure I didn't miss any items. Should I try and take him down? Is it a terrible idea? It's probably a terrible idea. Oh shit, there's two of them. What the fudge? Are you kidding me? Hell no. I'm not going to take down both of them. Are you kidding me? That's dumb. Bye bye sidle my way out of here. I'm not taking down two Cthulhu beasts. I don't even know what they're called. Church squids. No mercy for small ladies. Yeah. She ain't no lady. Alright, so... Let's go do this. This may be where the hunter is. This is creepy as hell. Actually, that's where the boss is, so never mind. Oh god, I have to get past the Cthulhu beasts. I have to go the other way. No! Oh boy. I have to run past them again. Maybe I could kill him with a visceral, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, that's where the boss is. We're just gonna... Why not? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Give me iframes! All the iframes! Toodaloo, buckaroos! Skin of my teeth. So there has to be a quick, a shortcut to the boss, because that's gonna, that's a long run. I can't open this, can I? No. <sighs> okay. Well. Whereas there's still plenty of the hunties ni hunters hunties nightmare hunties nightmare that made it makes it sound so much less terrifying. There's still plenty more to explore before we go face off against Ludwig the Accursed. Good, I need more bullets.
Okay, Mr. Arcane bullshit. Don't like that. Okay, well. Take a step forward. Ah. Ooh, butcher garb. Cool, let's check out this. I don't remember this being in the DLC. Garb of the Madaris twins, denizens of the Forbidden Woods, likely belonging to the older of the two. Both the twins became hunters and brought back and dissected their beast prey in order to support the villagers in their forbidden research. Ooh. Freaky. Well, we will try that on probably next episode. Well, where was this take a step forward note? Because that was very useful. Katie's death perception sucks. No, I think he went offline. Did he go offline? Nope, oh, that's a specter. Why is it white instead of red? My god, Katie, you can't just ask people why they're white. Oh, I think he went offline already. Shoot. So people's notes don't show up if they are offline. Oh wait, there it is. Okay. Approval for Yusa. Alright. Well, I guess it was worth killing the Cthulhu beasties. Alright, so let us continue on our way. Uh, essentially away from the boss. What am I supposed to do when- I wonder if they respawn. Probably. Everything in Bloodborne respawns, unlike Dark Souls. Looking for any glowies. I find this, the hunter's nightmare, to be so disorienting. Okay. So, we, uh, that is the way to the boss. I need to remember that. Which is really annoying that I'm gonna have to run past those Cthulhu guys every time I need to go kill one. Every time I fight Ludwig, I'm gonna have to make that journey. So now we're just going to backtrack. Because I need that item. That, I'd st I do believe that is the Whirly Gig Saw, and I need that in my life. I gotta be so sad if I hate it. <laughs> if it feels unwieldy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run all the way through this each time. That can't be right. There has to be a better shortcut. Oh, yay! Thanks! Thanks, Brindo! I love writing notes, as well as reading all of the notes. Banzai! Toodaloo, buckaroos! Haha! Alright. So that was where an item was. That's the church. That was the shortcut. So I actually need to go back this way. Because there is a cave that another cave. Oh shit, hello. That the blood lickers are guarding. And that I believe is where a spiffy hunter is. Hello? God, I wish I could sneak past it. No, I have zero shame. If I can backstab, I'm -a gonna backstab. You didn't even leave me anything. Ah! Yep. 
By the way, they activated. Okay. Hm. I will take those. I desperately need them. All right. I mean, why not? I'm here. I don't want to leave anyone out, you know? Uh, okay, so I think... Oh yeah, I hated that one. Let's not go that way. What I'm gonna do is cut here while I figure out the best way to go to get all these new goodies that I missed. Hmm. Yes. I don't want to go this way. I really don't like Mr. Boomhammer. Okay, I'm gonna cut here until I figure out where to go. <laughs> Alrighty dudes, I'm bringing you back. Um, the hidden path was uh, on the opposite side of the blood liquor lake, <laughs> essentially. So I, I went and killed a bunch of NPCs I didn't have to when I was backtracking and killed some blood liquors, so. I remember seeing him. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to get him this time again either. Yeah, I missed him last time I ran through here. Okay, so uh, this is where the big bad NPC is, I think. Yeah. And Despicable Beast. There's also a blood-starved beast in this cave, which is uh, one of the bosses in the game. Who I didn't really struggle with. But I have zero desire to <laughs> fight him. So we're gonna... I kind of have to make a decision here as to whether I want to use my torch and be able to see, or if I want to have my gun out to be able to try and parry this guy. Uh, oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Let's, let's go for the parries. Oh, shit. What the hell? Can you just keep going? Go! Uh, Alright. Wasn't watching my endurance the way I should. Alright, so we got the Gatling gun. Unfortunately, I have no blood tinge, which is what, uh. God, I am all red. I've killed a lot of things. Uh, which is what governs the strength of your, uh. your guns. Let's check this puppy out. This is a highly customized, portable version of the stationary Gatling gun operated by the old hunter Jura in Old Yarnum. It was the weapon of choice of the youngest of Jura's three companions. The Gatling gun boasts exceptional rapid-flying functionality, but is considered a cumbersome weapon due to its excessive weight and insatiable consumption of quicksilver bullets. Ooh, excuse me. I hiccuped. So, I think I'm going to pass on uh, that, but it is kind of cool. And I definitely don't want to run into the blood-starved beast in here. Just in case, uh, he can poison me, so I'm just gonna get those out in case I accidentally run into him. There's plenty of items in here, so I'm gonna try and be really... Oh, hello, what the hell are you? Oh, you're a werewolf creature. There's quite a few of them, actually. <laughs> Come this way, my friend. Alright. 
All right. Oh! Nope! Oh, you bastards. Clever, clever ambush. Luckily, this. Oh, it's the bad baby! Fudge! Nope! Nope! Take that. Bye! Oh god, where am I? How do I get out of here? The Bloodstar Beast is chasing me. I'm gonna have to just kill him. It's a giant circle! Alright, we're just. Let's make our stand. Actually, I think it's this way. Whee! <laughs> uh, I'm not a chicken at all. Let's let the enemies reset. For just a little bit. And I kind of want to see how many blood echoes I have right now. Not many. I need like 80,000 or something to level up right now. Well! Uh, so I told you there was a blood-starved beast in this cave, and I found him. <laughs> but there's also a crap ton of loot, so I'm thinking we're just gonna have to kill him. And let's not forget that there is an ambush right below me. Did they both reset? I don't know where they're hiding out. They did not reset. Weapon level up. Items. Yeah, there you are. There's the Blood Bastard Beast who already sees me, so let's just go this way. I don't want to fight you with a bunch of ags around. Ads, I guess. Why am I doing this? Who's... Why did I... This is not a good idea. Come on, log on! Mulberry bush, the Katie chase the blood start beast. Nope, you're a little smart. Come here, come here. What the shit? Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Katie, stop getting greedy. I can get greedy in Dark Souls, and I forget that I can't get greedy in this game. Thank you! Perfect timing! Now that can disappear now. Hate it when I lose a lock on. <sighs> okay, he's dead, and I got a damp blood tinge gem, and oh, cool, I got a trophy, blood gem master, sweet. All right, so he dead. Now we can explore. Just worry about the little guys, because there are items, and he didn't poison me, so that's kind of nice. I have that going for me, which is nice. So I had two of them that were active. I don't see that other guy though. I wonder where I left him. The one I fell on accidentally. Ooh, the amygdala arm. Okay, so this is a new weapon, and I think we're probably safe. You know what? I'm just gonna wait, just in case. I don't want to get s snuck up on, but it is a a weapon unique to the DLC and is super weird. But I will show that off. I'm 
wonder what happened to that guy, unless I actually killed him. But, alright, I think that's all. Uh, I th was thinking this was another area, but this just is the overlook to where what I just did. Okay. So, everybody in here is dead. Props to me. I am the Slayer of Beasts. Alright, let's take a look at this arm. Let's see. The arm of a small amygdala great one. Strictly speaking, the amygdala arm is no trick weapon of any sort, but certain madmen wield them like clubs. Start as a large, tough, blunt weapon formed of bone, but when extended, the hand quivers as if it were still alive. And this scales C with strength, um, but E with skill because my skill is not right, interesting okay let's try it out this is my arm that is the standard r1 combo Ooh, that's so weird Oh my god, I kind of like this. This is super odd. Woo! I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of cool. I might level this up and actually give it a shot. Uh, it's interesting. All right. So we solved all of that little solved. I act like it's a puzzle. We killed all of those things. Uh, now what we need to do, there must have been some part of that area that I didn't figure out correctly. That area where I said the Whirligig saw was and we killed the Church Cthulhu guys. There must be a, a, some kind of shortcut there that I, I missed. So, uh, I am going to cut here when I go back and try and figure that little bit out. But we are almost done with this level, except for Ludwig. So, uh, I will see you guys in just a tick. So, uh, I went back to where we fought the two Cthulhu Executioner Church monsters. And uh, I, there's something off to the right that I did not see. So, this is the, the way to the boss, and this is the way somewhere else. So we're gonna go this way and see what we find. It's all thanks to Bonfair. Okay, well that means there's a lamp here. Unless he's lying. But that would be great because I definitely need a bo uh, a shortcut. So there's gotta be... Who's hiding in here? Ah, there is a lantern. Perfect. I don't see anybody. We're gonna light this, because this will be our shortcut. To and from the boss, which is excellent. I was really worried I was going to have to... Uh... So this is the Tomb of Erden. And I do see a wandering nightmare down there. So... We're just gonna go for it. I know it's a trap, but... Two bloodstone chunks. No trap? No trap, okay. Uh, this is a summon, Henriette, if you want an NPC to fight alongside of you. I have... I used one once, I used Gascoigne in the very beginning of the game because I didn't get it. Hello! Great, my favorite. I just want to crawl up and see if maybe he'll fall. Uh, but I used Gascoigne because I didn't really know how summons worked and wasn't useful and then I decided to not use them again because I... Really? That's it? Felt pride! Oh shit! You are fast and you... You're 
so freaking fast. We're gonna fall off and die because it's not worth it. Hopefully he follows me. Alright, where is this dude? There you are. Oh, damn, I got it too. Oh, God, I hate that weapon. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it! Fudge! Shit! God damn it, son of a bitch! Oh! You dirty sons of bitches! Glad I lit that lamp. I kind of did that on purpose. Okay, all right. Well, that was a total and complete bust. So, death count of four. And, uh, God damn it. God damn it. Okay, I'm back. I killed all these crows down here, uh, and I picked up an oil urn, three oil urns, and now some blood vials. Uh, he has not jumped down to fight me, uh, and I can't, I don't see my blood echoes. Let's see if one of the crows had it and I just didn't notice. Nope. Uh, this is the second time this has happened that I died and my blood echoes are not anywhere they should be. Which is super upsetting, and it doesn't seem that the hunter is holding them either, because his eyes are not glowing purple. That's... yeah. Hello, what the hell? Okay, uh, kill? Nope, just fell out of the sky. Well, this is my Whirligig Saw, which I will read about later. But right now, I'm pissed that I can't find my 39,000 blood echoes. Uh, unless I am just completely and totally blind. Because they would kind of look similar on this bloody ground. Uh, if he jumps down, it's not the end of the world because maybe he's holding them and I just don't know it. But this is the second time that's happened. Like, my blood echoes are glitching and it's very strange. All damn dead crows. I don't see my blood echoes. So, that's pretty crappy. They weren't up there. And it's not like something particular to the hunter's dream. You know, they might just, you know, they don't, they disappear if you die because I've definitely died before and got them back. But it's just been these past two times and I'm wondering if maybe I should save and quit. And maybe they'll appear. Eat it, eat the hit. Okay. <sighs> All right. Guess we'll just go up. I'm tempted to cut here again, but I am killing things, so let's go. I can show you how I got. Oh god, they respawn. That's just peachy keen. Really, that hit me. That has a huge range and is terrifying. Alright. Run, 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 run. Into the church. Okay, cool. We're gonna do one last quick check. Or the tomb, I'm sorry. 
for my blood echoes. Because I am... I think what I'm going to have to do is save and quit. He doesn't have them. They're not down there. How irritating. Alright, I'm going to see if it maybe it's just my game. So sometimes this can work. And we will see, but I have anybody else had issues with their blood echoes disappearing on, in the DLC? It's very weird. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I don't really feel the need to continue leveling up, at least for the final boss in the main game. I'm kind of, I'm like blood level 111 right now anyway, so I'm pretty high level. But I would like those 40,000 blood echoes back. I killed a blood-starved beast for them. Okay. We load here. Do I see my blood echoes? Yes, I do! It worked! Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. Let's get these puppies. And yeah, enemies shouldn't respond. Yeah, it worked! Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So, guys... Oh, oh my god, that gave me a huge boost of health. Thanks, friendo. Yeah, that is one important thing to take note of, you guys. If your blood echoes disappear, save and quit in the area they should be, and hopefully they will reappear. Alright, so I'm going to have to run past Mr. Cannonball-wielding dude again. I think what I'm going to do... Should I go back to the Hunter's Dream? I don't think so. I don't know, I don't really want to lose my... 40,000 blood echoes. Let's see. I have 44,000 and I need like 80,000 to level up. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I will cut here, go back, try out the Whirligig Saw, which we might as well actually read about it right now. So. And see if I want to use it. But. This is a trick weapon crafted by the workshop heretics, the Powder Kegs, a weapon of choice for the old hunter Volter the Beast Eater. This weapon pummels beasts in its mace form, but its true strength lies in its attached mechanical saws. These discs, lined with serrated teeth, spin rapidly, thrashing the flesh of beasts into fine shreds. And, uh, it scales to a B with strength, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and just equip it. Probably the hill is not the best place to demonstrate this, but... This is just the mace. Has a nice kind of thrust, but... Wide arc swing. And that is its transformation attack. And that is just its R1. Damn. And this is its R2 attack, which just like mowing the grass. Look at me, just mow, mow, mow. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna go back to the Hunter's Dream, outfit this Whirly Gig Saw up, check it out. And then I think we're gonna go take on Ludwig. So I'll see you guys in one quick second. I'm back. I have uh, gemmed up my Whirly Gig Saw and upgraded it to plus nine, which, uh, is the second highest level. 10 is the highest, but I don't have the material needed to upgrade it to 10. But uh, I was kind of testing it out a little bit uh, on some crows over here. Uh, it's kind of weird to go into a boss fight with a weapon I am unfamiliar with. Uh, I'm So I'm actually going to stick on my trusty saw cleaver just in case uh, I'm not comfortable with this. But we are going to go fight the first boss of the DLC now. What I'll do is probably I'll show my first attempt and then I will show my last attempt at killing him. Uh, I don't know how many times it's gonna take, but I'm nervous. <laughs> so, uh, let's get to it, I guess. I have a, like, only 30 more minutes left that I can record today because I have to live stream. So, let's just go in here. Also, actually, and I'm not procrastinating, I swear, but one little thing. 
uh, I want to show you guys uh, if you were using this as sort of a walkthrough. Uh, this dude respawns. The flayed corpse over here, uh, he spawned again and I was able to kill him for another five blood vials. So if you feel like blood vial farming, uh, this might be a good place to do it. So keep that in mind and now we're gonna go fight our fir first boss. I'm actually gonna turn down my headset because I'm pretty sure his music's gonna be terrifying. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, I timed that awesomely. Oh, oh, please. Help us. Oh, God. Silent beast. A great terror. Uh, grant us eyes. Have mercy. Have mercy upon us. This is by far the most disgusting <laughs> monster in Bloodborne. Its design <laughs> is freaking good. Oh, that was fun. That's a bad way to go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Damn, that was a fast death. I couldn't even get in there with a whirly gig saw. Yikes! Yikes. That was, uh, awful. Death, so what is that now? Death count five or six? Oh no, I've lost count. Five question mark? Okay, well, uh, just gonna keep trying this. So, oops, I'm gonna cut here and I'll see you guys on my final attempt. Okay, I'm bringing you guys back for this attempt uh, because we're seeing a transformation. So that is one for you. <laughs> ah, you were at my side all along. Great. He could use a haircut. This is my fourth attempt at him, by the way. And I switched.
fourth attempt at Ludwig. Uh, I ended up uh, changing to my my special saw cleaver uh, on this attempt, and it worked. So clearly, I was supposed to be using that special guy all along. He. It's hard to start figuring out a brand new weapon for a boss, and yeah, that first phase was hard. The first phase was hard because uh, he did so much freaking damage. Uh, but second phase, not too bad. That was my first time I got him to the second phase. Uh, and I love you, Saw Cleaver. I love you. So as you can see, I'm, I also put on the Butcher Garb. I did that before my first attempt, actually. So cool. Four attempts at Ludwig. Got him on my fourth. Uh, pretty cool. I'm not sure what my death count is now. <laughs> Went through quite a few blood vials. But we got the Guidance Rune and some insight, of course. Let's go check out what this rune is. A carol rune of... Guidance. Boost rally potential by 20%. A carol rune discovered by the old hunter Ludwig along with the Holy Moonlight Sword. Boosts amount of life recovered by rallying. That sounds pretty nice. When Ludwig closed his eyes, he saw darkness, or perhaps nothingness, and that is where he discovered the tiny beings of light. Ludwig was certain that these playful dancing sprites offered guidance and emptied Ludwig of his fears, at least in the midst of a hunt. So, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I also changed out my runes for this fight. I have a stamina boost and HP boost uh, when you typically I have increased blood echoes earned as well as a... Oh, we got 35,000 blood echoes for that fight. And usually I have item discovery up as well. Uh, let's go pick up my blood echoes. I lost the 35,000 I went into the fight with, alas. We'll light the lamp. And now there are... Oh yeah, I forgot. I beat the boss and I didn't do this. Mm. Stupid roar. I like roar. <laughs> Alright. Hello, head. Good hunter. Have you seen the thread of light? Just a hair, a fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you imagine being the voice actor who has to do that in the sound studio? <laughs> okay, just more laughter. Alright, so something I need to do is actually get naked. Oh yeah. Love her weird boxer shorts. Okay, uh, let's put on church garb. Because he will respond differently if you are a member of the church. Tell me, good hunter of the church, have you seen the My face light? is covered in blood. Are my church hunters the honorable Spartans? I hoped they would be. We're gonna tell ah, me yes. Good. That is a relief. To know I did not suffer such denigration for nothing. Thank you kindly. Now I may sleep in peace. Even in this darkest of nights, I see the moonlight. And we get the Holy Moonlight Sword, which is always in a FromSoft game in one shape or the other. Uh, so it, alas, scales with uh, Arcane more than it does Strength, uh, but it's pretty cool. 
An arcane sword discovered long ago by Ludwig. When blue moonlight dances across the sword and it channels the abyssal cosmos, its great blade will hur hurl a shadowy light wave. So that move you saw him use in his second phase, I can actually use that too, but it will consume quicksilver bullets. The holy moonlight sword is synonymous with Ludwig, the holy blade, but few have ever set eyes on the great blade. And whatever guidance it has to offer, it seems to be a very, of a very private, elusive sort. Yeah, I can't even equip it because my arcane isn't high enough, which is a shame, but... <sighs> So now he's like sleeping. So I'm tempted to kill him, but first let's change our outfit one more time. Let's see what the constable guard looks like. Oh, and I should at some point go turn in that vermin. I don't have a constable hat. I guess I need the uh Yeah. I'll change that. I'll need uh, the bucket helmet from uh, Valter. That would be the completion of that. Put on constable's gloves. Constable trousers. Alright, what would look good hat-wise? Gas coins hat might look good. I do like the gold. <laughs> I spent 60,000 blood echoes on this thing, so... I love lamp. All right, let's kill this. <sighs> Dead. Okay. And I guess I can't talk to you. So what we're going to do is pick up this item. Which is three blood vials, which I will happily take. And we're going to call this episode quits because next we will proceed with the research hall. So, thank you guys so much for watching my second episode of Bloodborne the Old Hunters. If you enjoyed this, please thumbs up it, share it with your friends, your family. Yeah! <laughs> and, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I, I'm, it's the post-boss rush, the adrenaline rush. So I'm actually going to go to Valter and get a new helmet. But I will see you guys in episode three. And yeah, follow me on Twitter at TYT Gaming, capital K, capital C, to find out when the next episode will be posted. Thanks, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers. Oh, wait, I forgot. I should do this. Cheers, guys. <laughs>